Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door and then through this keyed door. Well, not keyed door, this locked door here and see what's through here. And perhaps this will lead to a hole that will lead to that dungeon item or something. I don't know. There's a switch. Is this a desirable... Whoa, that opens the grate behind the treasure chest. But that, that won't lead me anywhere except for that... A uh, pit full of green death. <laughs> so, ah, I guess I couldn't make it to the door fast enough before that critter caught up with me. I'm betting that that opened the grates to other places. Those uh, caged off areas or whatnot. Like, I betcha. Like, was this open before? I don't recall this being open before. Was this open before? I don't remember. <laughs> But the first thing I'm... not Well, actually, not the first thing. Well, I guess you could say it's the first thing. I want to check out this one over here. Like, did this one open? No, it still didn't open. <laughs> Am I supposed to jump down that middle one there? Because I don't believe that led me to anything in the original dungeon. Though I wouldn't put it past the designers to completely change that in Master Quest. And this leads me... Oh, this led me back to the boulder room. I mean, the, the place with the boulders. Alright, let's go back to the room with the treasure chest and jump down that hole. But I'm almost positive it's just going to plop me down right through the center here and into that green stuff. <laughs> I'm almost positive, seriously. Well, sure enough, the camera's battery ran out, but no big deal. I decided to put it on the wall socket instead, you know, to plug it into the wall. Why I never thought about doing that before while recording, I don't know. I am a freaking moron. Anyway, I'm going to jump down here, and oh, that was important to jump down behind that chest. Oh, and the chest appears over by uh, those spooky guys back at that corner. So there was something there. Eh, eh, no, no, no. Will I? You know what? I don't need to. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I could have swore that the lens of truth was on one of those higher pla. You've got to be kidding me. I could have swore it was on top of one of those higher platforms, but I guess the only higher platform that I was thinking of, maybe it contained the Lens of Truth in the original dungeon? But now the, now come to think of it, I betcha it is indeed in that, uh, yeah, that treasure chest that I unlocked at the bottom floor there. Uh, basement floor, whatever you want to call it. And well, the only reason why I'm not cutting ahead here is because it seems kind of frivolous to cut ahead. Woo! that tiny tiny bit and actually I'm going the wrong way <laughs> so yeah let's just get rid of you because you're just gonna hurt me again or say bug me again the next time I get over to that treasure chest and when I play this sun song you're gonna plop on my head and I'm gonna go grumble about it for 10 days straight and yeah whatever okay now back over here I took care of the wall master so let's just stun you guys again. I'm not even going to bother attacking you because I don't have to. I just need to get over to the treasure chest. And is this, if this is the lens of truth, this dungeon is over because I got everything from it. Yep, sure enough, there it is. Woohoo! Success! And now you can pretty much just leave the dungeon. Oh! I shouldn't have killed that wall master because I could have just used him to transport me back to the start. Dang it! Curses! Oh, why? God, why? Now I have to hoof it all the way over there. <sighs> or I could just cut. Whoa, look at that cutting power. <laughs> so yeah, here we are back at the start and I just like to show you guys how to get back out of here because I, I basically just jumped down here and didn't really explain how to leave and whatnot so yeah this is what i'm doing <laughs> see this is the actual exit of the place and see it's not a door that's what i got confused at before it's this long super dark hallway that leads to this tiny bit of light 
And we're back at Kakariko. That is the end of the dungeon. There is absolutely nothing more to explore there. I got all the Skultulas, got the dungeon item, the Lens of Truth, and now I can go back over to Lord Jabu Jabu, finally. Although, maybe what I should do is... No, to Jabu Jabu first. Because I was thinking I should go back to the to Hyrule Castle and play the Song of Storms at the courtyard to unlock the area to get a Skulltula in there. But that's on my way back to, to the Temple of Time anyway. So it seems kind of fruitless to go back over there, so to speak. Uh, so I'm going to go over to Jabu Jabu and go get that Skulltula back in that mysterious room that I couldn't figure out because I didn't have the lens of truth. I couldn't see anything, dang it. So, let's go back. Alright, this room once again. Now, see the lens of truth? I already have it equipped. It's over here in my inventory. So, let's just check out what this room is really all about. Oh, so there's keys, a keys right way over there, huh? Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn that off. There we go. I'm going to manually aim for these critters. Eh. Eh, there we go. So those do take two hits apiece. Ah, uh, Jabu Jabu, you tricky, tricky fellow. Now, there's a keys up there. Nope, missed. Good. Is that all that I have to look out for in this room? And I just realized I'm at 222 rupees already after going through the the well, even after spending all those rupees on beans, I've almost got half my wallet back. Wow. Now, I still hear another keys. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but I actually do have to hit this switch anyway to get out of this room, so... I'm gonna miss it completely. <laughs> oh, come on, man! Yeah. Let's just try that. There we go. See what happens is that when you start swimming, you start swimming very suddenly. And then you have like this forward momentum that kind of makes it hard to stop at times. And so it makes precision a little bit of an annoying. But alas, it is a part of the game. And yes, your uh, Lens of Truth does use magic. So, uh, what am I missing here? I hear keys. Yeah, let's look at it from a different angle here. Hmm. What am I missing around here? Did I not trigger the one that comes towards me by swimming through here? What is up with this room? I have the item, dang it! <laughs> oh man, this is like the most puzzling room I've come across since the start of this walkthrough, honestly. Okay, just oof. didn't mean to drop in there. Well, at least the lens of truth uh, automatically turns itself off when I fall into water. Okay, carefully look for something. Uh, oh, and you can only see hidden things in the center. See that uh, like silhouette around that circle in the center of the screen? You can only see things within that circle. Oh, 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 oh! Are you the last keys? Are you the last keys? Please tell me you're the last keys. It did something. It did some. Hookshot target? No, I can't. That's impossible. Because I can't get here as, a, as an adult. Ah, that's what I thought. Okay, they're just trying to fool me. They're just trying to fool me in every way possible. Now, luckily, I have some uh, extra magic power here to rid myself of the spider web and kill the skull tool at the same time. And I should have instead switched out the uh, slingshot for the boomerang, but whatever. I mean, switched out the slingshot for the Din's Fire. Well, whatever. I got the gold skull to love and finally completed Lord Jabu Jabu. <sighs> Back to Hyrule Castle. Alright guys, remember this tree over here? Oh yeah, I'm sure you remember this tree. Play the Song of Storms, and this hole will open up next to it. Fall down this hole, don't forget to bring your boomerang. There it, oh, there's a couple of bombable walls, I 
guess I'll just have to take care of them. I don't know which one contains the Skulltula, but one of them contains a Skulltula. <laughs> uh, oh, that one, okay. But where, where do the other ones take me anyway? Uh, There's just a regular Skulltula there and a dead end. Some bugs. I guess that's pretty handy if you need some bugs for your bottle. Uh, stones to pick up, I suppose. For the fun of it, let's just do this. And see what this gossip stone has to say. Come on, tell me something good. I overheard this. They say that you may find something new in dungeons that you have already finished. What? <laughs> I don't get that. I, I 100 percent at every dungeon so far. Uh, anyway, now what you want to do is go ahead and kill the Skulltula with your boomerang or slingshot. Oh, I should also mention, because someone's going to mention this in the comments anyway, is that there's a glitch involving the Skulltula token. If you grab the token as you're leaving this place, like like if you were to throw your boomerang to grab the Skulltula token and then go through the light and then the Skulltula pick, gets picked up as you're being transported out of the place, that Skulltula will return infinitely. So you can get as many Skulltula tokens as you want through here. But since that's kind of considered a cheat, I'm not going to cheat the game because I intend on getting all 100 of them legitimately. So let's just get out of here. Hey you! Guards! Yeah you! I'd like to get out of here faster than I would normally by walking. Thank you! <laughs> Remember the eight patches of soil that I got Skulltulas from? Well, it's about time that we start planting some beans. The first one I planted was at Zora's River. The second one I'm planting is here at Death Mountain Trail. So I'm gonna cut to each location as I get to them. The graveyard! Ooh, it's so spooky! So we need to bring some life into it by planting this plant. Back at the Lost Woods, feel free to warp here with the menu <laughs> Minuet of Forest, excuse me, if you'd like to, just to save yourself a little bit of time in transporting yourself from place to place. Oh, I should also mention something about my camera's battery life. I think the camera that records the, uh, Gameplay is like the battery starting to wear down on it, which is why I feel like I need to charge it so much more often than I used to, basically. So, but that makes a lot of sense because I've been using it almost like daily for a year, so it's gotten its uses, so that is for certain. And over through here is yet another bean patch. Oh, I should also mention that new Canon camera that I got, it's got godly battery life, like probably six hours of battery life a charge or so so the Canon G12 definite thumbs up on the battery life this thing is extremely reliable to me and the last uh, patch of soft dirt soil whatever you want to call it is over here at Kokiri Forest more specifically the shop I'm just gonna jump over here to get myself five rupees yay <laughs> and plant myself a bean right here. There we go. And let's go to more places. You know, you gotta wonder to yourself, what the heck are these fences doing in Hyrule Field anyway? Do they need to like traffic people coming through here or something like that? Because I barely see any people coming through here, so why the heck are there fences built around these places? I can understand, like, off of these cliffs, you know, so people don't get hurt. But not the fences that are just hanging out in the middle of Hyrule Field. That just doesn't make any sense to me, and I've always wondered, why are they there? They're just there to slow me down. I suppose if you're riding a no pay, you wouldn't have any trouble. Um, because, you know, those, you could just jump right over the fences. Maybe that's the whole idea is to, you know, like, have Hyrule feel as your horse's playground, so to speak. But, I, I don't know. I, I don't even think they're, they make any point. I mean, there's any point to having them there. I mean, it would just, uh, I mean, sometimes you may not even jump with a nope. 
<laughs> because you know how Anopi controls sometimes, and yeah. And uh, if you're gonna say, hey, it's Epona, well, you haven't watched my uh, Link's Hungry for Chicken video, random video, so you better go watch that so you know the in-joke that I'm talking about there. Anyway, I am going to let myself... Well, I'm just going to plop myself off here. It'll be a little bit quicker. There we go. I don't really take care about the damage that I'll take right there. And I'm just going to go up here over by Cow Gerudo Lady. And sure enough, there is a bean patch. Let's plant one there. And there's one last bean patch back over at... Uh, Lake Hylia. For some reason, I couldn't think of the name there right away, which is kind of strange. <laughs> to Lake Hylia we go! Right over here next to that old lady's house. So actually, it might just be a man. Someone told me that the scientist inside there might be a man. And why did I go into my inventory to get beans? I have no idea. So that lady might not be a lady, so... Dude may be a lady or lady may be a dude. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's all I'm gonna be doing in this part. Oops. Dang it. I'm just gonna warp back over to the Temple of Time because that was the last bean patch that I can get to right now as a kid. And there we go. It'll be a while before we see our next bean patch we can plant something in. So don't worry about it at the moment. We have two beans left for two more bean patches. One is really late in the game. But as for now, it's time to get back over to adulthood and continue on that part of the adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this part and I will see you in the next parts. Ooh. Wah! The hair is back again, dang it! I'm gonna have to get myself a razor. <laughs>